Hi, I'm Tim, and welcome to Watch You Want. Thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a piece that, even more than the usual, pays tribute to the history of Officine Panerai. This is a reissue of what you might have seen on the wrist of Italian commando circa roughly 1940. This is the PAM 449 Radiomir Siloro Lanto Corsa Three Days, one of 750 pieces originally issued for the 2012 special edition model year. This piece pays tribute to that sort of transitional Panerai right after that first flight of 3646 pioneering models. This is when the watches were still built by Rolex, modified by Panerai in Italy for use by Italian Navy commandos. Now what you see here is the modification of that original California dial. Now there are two sort of siblings in this 2012 special series year. There was the 448, which was the California dial, representative of really the last of the California dial Panerais, and then there was the watch that represented sort of the newer breed of Panerai dials, the stage two of Panerai production in the historical period, and that's the 449, the SLC three days. Now SLC is a reference to the equipment used by the Italian frogmen of the Decima Flotilla, the famed pioneering combat swimmer division that saw action during World War II and is actually the forerunner of all modern special forces from your UDTs to your SEALs to your SWICs. Pretty much everything grew out of that pioneering program and the Panerai came to fame as the official equipment to that program. Not just the watches but also the depth gauges and the underwater compasses. Of course the watches are the icons and this one's representative of the first round of changes Panerai made in response to the Decima Flotilla personnel input on how to improve the watch. First and foremost, make the dial even simpler. Simplify it and make it more legible. And that's exactly what happened with this model. Uh, now, the historical reference on which this is based, the second generation 3646, did away with the combination of Arabics and Roman numerals seen on the famed California dial. Just Google California dial if you want to see a good example of that. But they reduced it to simple dots and indexes with a double baton index at 12 o'clock and then dots with the four corners to denote your three, your six, your nine, and the hour markers. Now it's still a sandwich dial, which means that you have that fully loomed disc underneath a cutout stencil dial. The batons and the dots are actually a stencil that's placed over a fully loomed disc underneath. Now the advantage back in the old days was that you could really layer on a huge helping of luminescent material without fear of it towering so high over the dial that it would actually come into contact with the hands and have a tendency to flake off and move around. So this adds a beautiful, in the modern era, it adds a beautiful depth to the glow on the dial because you're actually looking at the luminescent material shining up from within the dial, up the walls of the stencil. Each cutout has a little bit of depth to it and creates not just a blinding luminescence at night, but a cool 3D effect. This is an upscale watch, although inspired by combat divers, and it clearly looks the part. The watch is also beautifully finished with a polished 47 millimeter case that's a matching polished bezel and case. It actually has a much more complex contour to it than the well-known sort of can-like Luminor cushion case. If you can imagine a Luminor, this is a little bit more sculpted. This is a little bit finer. This on a large wrist could play a little bit better as a versatile dress reference. You can see the tumble home from the side of the case and how a sleeve might ride up right over that. Also, the heat blued hands are gorgeous. And everything about the fit and finish of this watch is up to par with Panerai's modern day sta status basically since 1993 as a manufacturer of high horology. Well, let's take a look at it on the wrist. Now my wrist is six and a third inches. That's 16 centimeters for our Italian frogmen. The bottom line is I do not have a big wrist and it's pretty average in shape. Kind of ovalish, flat-ish on the top, a little bit rounded. And even though this is a 47 millimeter watch and a 47 millimeter sports watch at that, it sits very comfortably. Panerai and Hublot love to build huge watches, but I have to say no two companies do a better job of making a huge watch wear reasonably than Panerai and Hublot. And because these watches were originally designed as functional features of combat gear, they have to function well, they have to fit well, they have to stay upright on the wrist. So there's a lot of combat new that's kind of introduced to the shape of the case and then carried on in the modern heritage uh, tribute model simply by virtue of where the watch came from, how it was designed to be used, and the necessities of combat employment. Now the watch also includes 
a bit of a newer wrinkle. Historically, Panerai watches built by Rolex were also powered by Rolex pocket watch movements. Well, today, Panerai builds its own movements, and the owner of this PAM449 gets the benefit of that in-house savoir-faire. Now, the P3000 caliber that you see right here was introduced in 2010, so it incorporates all the latest standards. And in a lot of ways, this watch, although it is a modern luxury reference, is more rugged than the historic Rolex-powered combat divers. You can see two anchoring screws for a full balance bridge. Rather than having it just be single-sided and cantilevering out like it did in the historic watches, Panerai anchors this balance on both sides. Better for absorbing shock, it also features a free sprung balance, which means that the stud holder can't move. It's not a moving regulator. All the adjustments are made to variable inertia blocks that are on the balance wheel itself, so if you strike it, if it shakes, that index can't move and change the timing of the watch. Now, it's styled with a view to history, and that is a nod to the look of an old-style pocket watch movement. It, these are not three-quarter bridges because there is that split channel right there, but the look and the straight graining is designed to evoke the historic three-quarter bridges and large bridges that you would have seen on the historic Rolex Coat of Bear movements and the Angelus eight-day movements that came after that. The watch does have a three-day power reserve, so that's an excellent autonomy, and it also has another fun wrinkle in that there's an ability built in. It does have a screw-down crown. It does have 100 meter, 330 foot water resistance, so it's a true modern sports watch in that sense. But another nod to the way people wear their watches today is the ability to independently, you could set the watch hours and minutes right there, but if you're traveling with the watch, you can also, I'm gonna just move to the next attempt in the movement, you can set the hour ahead or backwards independently of the minutes. So it's a great travel watch in addition to being a very practical dress and play watch. This is a very versatile reference with a great historical backstory. The movement is not just up to par, it's above and beyond. More power reserve than the 42 hour industry standard, remember this is a 72, and far more robust and better finished than the historic movements. It also comes on a beautiful white contrasting stitch. This is a calfskin strap consistent with Panerai heritage. That's the best look for a Panerai. It does have a modular lug system, so you can actually unscrew these screws here. These are not soldered on lugs like the historic Panerai divers. You just unscrew these two screws with a simple screwdriver and the lugs come right off so you can swap straps. But this is the classic look and it complements the 449 beautifully. The Solora Lanto Corsa, named after the manned torpedoes used by the Decima Flotilla, lends its name to this PAM449 Radiomir SLC 3 Days. And WatchYouWant.com is offering this watch with complete boxes, papers, manuals, and documents of provenance, including the 2012 Individually Numbered Special Series Certificate. Check out this versatile, historically reverent, historically relevant Panerai Radiomir SLC 3 Days, one of only 750 pieces made, with full Panerai factory boxed set on our website, WatchYouWant.